interrupt this broadcast to bring you breaking news of a large explosion in Weatherfield, the cause of which is as yet unknown. Early reports of a derailed tram crashing into a residential area are as yet unsubstantiated. Now, Greater Manchester Police have yet to confirm whether there was any terrorist involvement or if a high state of alert was indeed in place before that explosion. Caroline Whitmore is on the scene for us now. Caroline. Well, Alistair, it's absolute mayhem down here. I've just come from a school in Weatherfield. We all felt it. The hall well, literally shook. I'm now outside. You can smell the burning rubber. Oh, it's no, absolutely it's awful. Someone has just shouted that it's actually on Coronation Street. Excuse me, excuse me. Do you know anything, anything what happened at all? Well, no, I don't. I've just nipped to the shop to get some milk. And I've just seen a lot of smoke coming up over the rooftops. Do you know what's happened? Was it a bomb or something? There was an explosion on Coronation Street. A tram has oh, come off. Oh my God, Coronation Street! Yeah. Oh my God, I live on Coronation Street. My son's just come back from the army. I've got to go, and my son died. As you can see, people are really distressed here. There are no emergency crews here at the moment. I can't even hear any, any sirens or anything. I will try and get closer to the scene, but as you can imagine, this is such a terrible, terrible situation. I cannot even start to think about the casualties. Alistair. Caroline, thanks very much indeed, and we will get back to you just as soon as we can. But reports just coming to me are suggesting that the police were indeed not on high alert, but a terrorist attack has not yet been ruled out. Let me repeat that the area was not on a high alert, but a terrorist attack has not yet been ruled out. It does seem that emergency crews are being delayed from reaching the scene. Apparently, a road accident in the local area is causing major congestion. Now, that's all we have at the moment, but we will bring you more news from Weatherfield just as soon as we get it.